Isn't it a fine morning indeed? I just love the smell of trivia in the morning, don't you? Well, don't you? Well, how many contestants are there? Just one player? I mean, great, only one player. Is this the first time on the ride for you? Splendid, glad you had the courage to play again. You should be typing in your name. Thank you. Remember to be all you can be. Well, that's all I have to say. Hope to see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by the American Produce Corporation, family owned and operated until 1982, then bought out by a multi-billion dollar corporation and currently operated by a single large supercomputer. And now, here he is, the hardest working guy in trivia, your host, Guy Towers! Alright, welcome to the game. But first, uh, I'll tell you that joke. Psych. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Still not gonna get to hear it. Okay, my country bumpkins, get ready to ride. And hey, just ask us to slow it down if it moves too fast for you, okay? Alright, buzz in and let's see what kind of dough you're playing for. Ooh, stanky. No, oh, well, here's the category. Down on the animal farm. Here's the question. If there were a version of George Orwell's animal... In Orwell's animal farm, the animals take over the farm and the pigs rise to take control of the animals. Move over, Bacon. Now there's something communist. Hit that buzzer and let's see... This one's called... Primitive farm living is the life for me. All right, I got 4,567 bucks if you can pull this one off. Here we go. What could have been the earliest factually accurate setting for the wacky f The first evidence of farming showed up during the Neolithic period, the last period of the Stone Age. Mr. Douglas, I have something here that will revolutionize your farm. I call it the wheel. And I have something for you, Mr. Haney. It's called the loincloth. Wear it, please. Hit your buzzer. Ugly. Wow. Well, this one's going to be called... The Bee Gees Enjoy Rural Life. Questions coming. If you were to inject the members of the Bee Gees with BGH, which of the... BGH, or bovine growth hormone, is a genetically engineered hormone that's given to cows to increase milk production. You thought his voice was high before. Wait till he's got the tender udders. How much will this one be? And for your viewing pleasure... I'm not littering, I'm composting. Ready, set, here you go. If you use your compost to make compost, what will you do? Build walls out of rotting vegetables, cook rotting fruit and syrup, make a bed of rice. No reason why your plants should get first dibs on the compost. Spread them on your flapjacks, too. Yeah, city folk don't know what they're missing. Hit that buzzer and let's check out the Hungry? It's roadkill time. Buzz in when you see the answer that unites the two clues. And don't forget to look at all the correct answers so you can guess the bonus question. Alright, let's drive. Opposite of white and opposite of in the red. Where do these two intersect? Comedic Mel and Small Stream. Money and Tango Partner. Author Mark. Tweed. 
on the Simpsons. Score. A stairs ginger and affirmatives in radio speak. All right, let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all characters from the Waltons? Country music singer. You nailed it. Rack it up. All right, get a load of you. Uh, let's keep going. Tickle your buzzer and let's see how much... Oh, Mondo Casho. Nice going. Here's your category. Fear of farming. Hey, you know something? I don't think our exploration of country music was complete, because we left out the works of Blue Oyster Cult. If the Blue Oyster Cult song don't fear the... A reaper is a machine that harvests grain. But the song has, like, way huge significance, man, because, like, the grain is my soul. There you go. Nice job. And we've got... Pretty Fleas with Sugar on Top. Ready? Okay, think back to that Hawaiian language course you took in high school and tell me this. What might you expect to buy at a Hawaiian... In Hawaiian, yuku means flea and lele means jumping. But to the rest of the world, ukulele means shut up before I f***ing f*** your Don Ho. There was a farmer made of corn, and Corny was his name. O C O R N Y C O R N Y C O R N Y, but his mama called him Mazo. Welcome to Corny. Remember to buzz in when the first letter of the answer lights up if you want to win the cash. And the bonus is yours if you can grab all five letters. And we're off. Vegetable that sounds like okra, outra. Hazard County's blank B. Coltrane. What farmers call it. Yeah, baby. The desserts cattle leave behind. That's no BS. One more letter for the bonus. This cowboy was king. Speak meaning all of them. Y'all! Nice! Carney! Nice bonus! Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Get ready for. Three strikes and you're out! Okay, you know how a lot of pro baseball players are brought up to the majors through the minor league farm system? Well, say there were a minor league farm system for agricultural products. Which of these farm teams would not play in the grass league? The Billings Barleys, the Anaheim Alfalfas, the Scottsdale Sword... The Alfalfas? So what, would their mascot be like a giant cowlick? You see, Alfalfa's not a grass. It would actually play in the legume league. How much cash we playing for? The category is... How do I love thee? Hey, uh, you know how they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach? Well, how many stomach chambers would a cow have? All cattle have four stomach chambers. Of course, she'd also have to be chewed, swallowed, regurgitated, and chewed up again a few times along the way. But hey, isn't that what love's all about? Get that buzzer and let's see that cash. Sweet. It's time to play Dis or Dad. This Dis or Dad's category name is... This here's God's Country. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's... A God or a Country. You cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. 
We got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. How much will this one be worth? This baby's gonna be... Where the cheese stands alone. <clears throat> the farmer in the dell. The farmer in the dell. Hi-ho, the dairy -o. What the hell's a dell? A dell is a small valley. So like when the farmer takes a wife, she's like a total valley girl. Oh my god. Hit that buzzer and let <laughs> Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I -E -I clue. Who bought the farm? Well, if I tell you that, this game wouldn't be any fun, now would it? Good luck. Almost perfect. Well, nobody's perfect, especially you. Sorry. 
Is your home in desperate need of appliances? Good morning. Welcome to You Don't Know Jack, the ride. You know, it's not just for breakfast anymore. How many of you are there? Nobody else to play with? Well, who needs them? Is this the first time on the back for more punishment, are you? Oh, just kidding. We all love you here. Now I will ask you to... Thank you. As you know, your buzzer is the key with the B on it. I hope you're street smart, because it's an urban jungle out there. show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by the Rich White City Dwellers League, nagging you about pollution and inner city crime until you wish you were dead. And now here's your host, Guy Towers. Welcome to the Urban Sprawl. Hey, careful you don't get carjacked, or yourself for that matter. Ready for a hot time in the big city? Well, let's do it. Hit that buzz. This one will be... It's not how big your city is, it's how thick it is. And away we go. Because it's the U.S. city with the density, the city with so many people per square mile that it's becoming one solid urban mass is New York, New York. The city so stupid they named it twice. Hit your buzzer and snag the cash. And your category is City of Coke Vials and Canned Laughter. Look out, here it comes. If Leah Thompson stars in a made-for-TV movie about a cartoon. Do I snort this or inject it? <laughs> New Jack City is about drug dealers and stuff, and Leah's wacky show is called Caroline and Her Duffy. I mean, Caroline in the City. Okay. The category is... City dwellers are such axles. Hey, remember that rockin' song Paradise City by Guns N' Roses? F***ing A. Well... If Axel and the boys had sung about a place where the grass was green and the girls were spitty, which of these would have been the the parotid glands or the biggest salivary glands? And if the girls are spitty, I'm pretty sure it's because Axel had another tizzy fit at one of his concerts. Oh wait, uh, what concerts? It Frankincense Ronulator? No, no, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. No! Gibberish! How you spite me? All right, here's your gibberish category. It's a shame you're so damn loud. Don't forget, the sooner you buzz in, the more moolah you get. Okay then, tell me what this rhymes with. A pity, fat lever beeps. Let's see what you got. Start typing and hit return.
You know, other towns claim to be the city that never sleeps, but New York's the real thing. And here's why. Tickle your Wow, big bucks on this one. All right, this one's called... Sign the guest book before climbing into the bathtub. Here's the question. If your apartment is infested with cockroaches, the Red Hot Chili Peppers bass player is named Flea, not Cockroach. Besides, why the hell would he come to your apartment? All right, get ready for... Rent Control. Hey, I'm sure by now, even if you haven't seen the Broadway musical Rent, you know that it's about artists and their struggles to survive. Of course, the starving artists can't afford to see the damn show, but whatever. Say your rent is $390. $390 divided by $65 is six. So you could take your special friend with you three separate times before you ran out of rent money. And after the show, maybe you'll find a nice cardboard box to live in. All right. Wow, big bucks. Nice. Well, the category is... Watch your mouth, busker. So, you know how there are shoes out now for, like, any activity? You know, basketball shoes, tennis shoes, jogging shoes, shoe-selling shoes. Well, say that instead of Buster Brown shoes, you buy a pair of Busker Brown shoes. A busker is a person who earns money performing in the streets. Why did you give that guy a five? He couldn't sing a note. Yeah, but his shoes were kind of cool. How much was this one's called? Silly hat, silly name. Okay, $5,529 on the line here. Now uh, give me some sugar. How many Pope Urbans have there been? There have been eight Pope Urbans so far. There are also two Pope City Slickers and one Pope Street Fighting Badass. Uh, bingo. There was a man slept in the park, his pants were kinda stained, oh, G-R-I-M-E, 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 he'll have to shout it out, oh. It's time for some grime. Don't forget, buzz in on the first letter of the correct answer to win the cash. If you get all five letters, you, my friend, get the cash. Let's go. Please leave us. He gets trapped between floors. Going up. Steel girders. Roaches! Bugs think he's the Terminator! Baby Bok! A poor little baby child is born in the... Ghetto! Alfalfa and Buckwheat belong to our... Okay! This revolution took workers off the farm. Dust will rock. One more letter for the bonus. Lady Liberty wants your huddle. Masses. Grime. You got the bonus. All right, get a load of you. Uh, let's keep going. How much? And for your viewing pleasure. Gridlock, it's what's for dinner. Ready, set, here you go. If you get on the highway one morning and there's no pasta in jambalaya, so you won't have to worry about noodles ruining your finish. And for those of you that think this could never happen to you, I got caught in a chili storm once. Hit that buzzer and let's see that ca And the category is... John, I'm only voting. Hey, you know how David Bowie's Suffragette City is about the leaders of the women's right to vote movement? Uh, okay, well, let's pretend it is, all right? When David Bowie sings Wham Bam Thank You, Dorothea Dix worked for improved conditions for the mentally ill, not for women's voting rights. 
I mean, she wanted to work for women's voting rights, but they said there were already too many dicks in politics. Hit your butt. Ooh, pretty lame pick in there. Oh, well, it's going to be called... That's one perky owl. You know, why should we thank the suffragettes for improving women's rights when instead we could just hang out at a chain restaurant that sets women back a hundred years? I mean, we could have a beer or something. Suppose Hooters restaurants the ventricles in the heart, not the breast. But those gals at Hooters, they've got a whole lot of both. Tickle your butt. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this clue up nice and neat for you. The Rat Pack. All right, all the chicky babies love this one. Good luck to you. Hey. Are you kidding me? You rule! Yeah, maybe next time you'll play against somebody. <laughs> <laughs> 